I'm grateful that Africa is standing up because Africa must stand. When Africa rises and Africa stands and Africa walks in her full power, then it will not be as easy for those of us who are members of the African diaspora to be mistreated around the world, no matter where we are. Welcome to Sanav's World Minute, where we talk about issues relating to the African diaspora, such as African Americans in the US, Africans in the UK, people of African descent in the Caribbean and all around the world. Come on in and join me for this conversation. All right, I got my tea, so let's get this started, okay? Let me, let me take a second. Buy me a tea on Buy Me a Coffee. I'll leave the link below. So what's really going on in Ukraine? On February the 25th, 2022, Russia launched a full-scale invasion into Ukraine. Uh, and then on February the 24th, Russian forces unleashed a wave of attacks on neighboring Ukraine. And um, they have been gathering borders to the Ukraine on since 2021. Now, this has been ongoing. Uh, I remember in 2021 having to write a paper for my master's program about Russia and Ukraine and also um this you know this has been ongoing for quite some time where um Russia has been slowly trying to inch its way into retrieving Russia back into the failed uh USSR right so America along with officials from the EU um have not only threatened but have put into place these sanctions on Russia to try to thwart this or try to um, at least get Russia to maybe change their mind or move away from this position of trying to take over Ukraine the way that they did Crimea. One of the sanctions was through the SWIFT um, payment system, which is now cut off to Russia. So they cut off the payments and money to Russia uh, globally, global payments to Russia that were being processed and that were being, you know, gone through the payment system of SWIFT. All right. So, so much is going on. So back to our story. Um, there have been more than a million people who have fled to Ukraine in the recent, recent weeks of the Russian invasion and thousands of Africans were a part of this exodus, leaving Ukraine, scrambling to get over the border into neighboring countries. And so governments like um, South Africa and the De Democratic Republic in the Congo are working to help their, get their citizens out. Some have even gone as far to dispatch diplomats to Ukraine's borders to aid students, especially, um, you know, this is happening in real time. And um, this is also happening as students are saying and are showing with their cameras and their voices and so on social media that they are being mistreated, that they are not being allowed to cross, not being allowed to pass. And they are receiving um, these abuses from, you know, from the um, Ukrainian police and from uh, at the borders of Poland and other countries. And so there were a lot of evacuation efforts that were um, thwarted, right? Surely Bachwe, Ghana's um, Minister of Foreign Affairs and Regional Integration shares this. Evacuation options were limited as Ukraine closed its airspace at the start of the military operation. This left only one viable option, evacuation by land to neighboring countries, said 
um, Shirley Bachwe. And so right now around 16,000 African students are at universities throughout Ukraine. Africans have come and taken to the airwaves and social media to denounce this racist treatment by soldiers and border patrol officials. Um, they are sharing how Ukrainians, white Ukrainians were given preference in this evacuation efforts. One, one student said, I can tell you, the soldiers who are there and the other security agents, they tell you, you are going to stay here. You are fleeing the war. Stay here. You are going to fight with us and you are not going to leave, especially you black people. And so these are the stories, you know, that are being told, they're being shared. And no, we can no longer hide them. The world, Ukraine can no longer hide them. So some people have been waiting at the border for days with babies and parents. And we've seen images of um, border patrol agents pushing even a young black child from the um, from a train. We've seen a young mother, right, sitting in temperatures below or as low as um, negative 10 degrees Celsius with her baby. And these amazing, courageous Africans have walked miles and miles and miles just to get to freedom, just to get themselves to safety and to get across the border because there is no other way. There is no other pathway. Um, as the Ghana's Minister of Foreign um, Affairs shared, right? And so they have to go by land and they have to go through other countries in order to get to see. Also, I can't leave out what's happening to African Americans that we know who are trapped, um, who are from the U.S. And so with the threat of the um, Ukraine invasion, Americans were encouraged to uh, flee the country and head out of the potential war zone. Two basketball players, Teray Murray and Maurice Mo Creek, are caught up in the war zone. When the invasion started last week, one escaped while the other is still stranded. Maurice Mo Creek unfortunately has not been able to leave the area while Murray made it out safely. The two were players um, and members of the Ukrainian Basketball Super League. And so Creek is currently stuck in Ukraine and it is a city that's in the southern part of the country. Creek has been in touch with his agents and family in Maryland, but is fearful due to the real, realness of the situation. And so the U.S. Embassy in Ukraine is closed and currently unoccupied, but people are trying to get him to safety. And so it's a very fluid um, situation. And at to date, we have not heard um, how the U.S. government or even if the U.S. government is assisting him. Um, but Biden, if you are watching, this is your moment to help your own people to get out of Ukraine and especially to help our young African-American brother who is there. We are part of a large African diaspora and so it's important to report on how we all are faring because if one African is mistreated or if one person of African descent is mistreated, then we all are mis mistreated because we are all one. We are all family. African governments have called for better treatment of their citizens. Ukrainian Foreign, Amer um, Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dmitry Kuleba, because uh, you know I, I don't speak Russian or Ukrainian, so bear with me. <laughs> he tweeted that Africans are friends and need to have equal opportunities to return home. And so, because I wonder, you know, I was searching, I was looking for like, wait a minute. Are they, um, is the Ukraine, I know the big Ukrainians are busy. I know the Ukrainian government, I know they're fighting. I know they are, you know, I know they're busy. But is no one going to speak on um, what's really happening to the Africans? I mean, I just wanted to know. And so I was glad when he tweeted that um, because it's important. This is happening and it's happening in real time. And so the work remains um, and continues to bring our African brothers home. And there are things to celebrate. Um, 
I am so proud of Caribbean nations like Jamaica, Trinidad and Tobago, and along with other Caribbean nations who have made arrangements to bring our people home. Much more needs to be done when, you know, this still is just mind boggling to me. Africans, you know, in African countries, African leaders, UN representatives were some of the first to share support for Ukraine. And then for Ukrainians to um, treat our African brothers and sisters with such disdain um, and be racist. You have time to be racist in the middle of a war. I don't, you know, I don't, I don't really understand. Um, and how can you think or make your, you know, our African brothers and sisters stay and fight when your own people are fleeing? Right, over a million have already fled, and so you want all sixteen thousand women, you know, thousand women and children with babies to stay and fight. You know, um, Biden said, which is very interesting. He said of Afghanistan, the reason they pulled out was because the, you know, a Afghanistan people wouldn't fight. Now I don't know that, so I'm, you know, I'm trying to verify. I'm just repeating what Biden said, and so, like anything else. Um, you have the choice to make um, if this is your country to stay and fight or to to go. And so you shouldn't be holding other people hostage, right? Because you don't want to be held hostage by Russia. And so I, um, it's interesting that this, um, this is all occurring and this is all happening. So again, I applaud <laughs> Jamaica, Trinidad, Tobacco, and all the Caribbean nations that are, have brought their people home. Ghana, um, has um, provided safe travel for hundreds of its Ghanaian uh, students who were there uh, studying and they're on their way home. And so they, the Ghanaian people have made it quite clear that um, this needs to happen and it needs to happen immediately. And so this is being done. Um, Nigeria, uh, I'm sorry, Ghana is acting uh, with Haste. Foreign Affairs Minister Shirley um, Bachwe shared that over 220 Ghanaians um, who live in Ukraine have uh, managed to leave Ukraine and they are traveling, often traveling uh, with Ghanaian officials. <laughs> Look at this, honey. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Travel with your people. Do not leave your people behind. Travel with your people. Make sure they get out. Um, don't leave your people behind and travel with them. Did I say that? Because um, we still have an African American who is still trapped, still there um, in in the Ukraine. You may ask, why was he trapped? And um, one news story, one news source um, reported that he did not get paid, and so that's why he was trapped. The Ukraine's, um, and this is all, you know, according to the news report, news source that, and that was why um, he didn't leave right when everyone else um, left. Yeah, that's going on. The Nigerian government has also uh, made arrangements for evacuees to leave and to have safe transit um, through um, the borders of surrounding and neighboring countries. So yay to Nigeria. Um, the Nigerians um, have really put into place an amazing process and we're already seeing that our people are starting to come home and are already starting. Um, so look, all this is happening in real time and it's amazing. Um, it's amazing. Now, so many things um, have been going on, right? Additionally, nations like um, Nigeria have condemned the abusive actions of Ukraine, Poland, and Belarus. And so the, um, all of this has, has, has happened. And I, I'm grateful that Africa is standing up because Africa must stand. When Africa rises and Africa stands and Africa walks in her full power, then it will not be as easy for those of us who are members of the African diaspora to be mistreated around the world, no matter where we are. So it's interesting, um, I'm going to end this as I began, and that is prophetically. 
it's interesting that we've been sensing and receiving these messages, those of us um, who work in the prophetic, work with spirit, um, who pray, set intentions, who listen to ourselves, our internal selves. We have been receiving these messages to get out of the West for quite some time. And it's important um, to note, recently Dr. Mumbi Soraki um, took to the airwaves on her YouTube channel, which I'll link below. And I'm going to leave a link below to all of the creators that, that I mentioned. I'm also going to leave links to White House correspondent April Ryan, who's over on um, Instagram. I'm going to leave links uh, to her as well. And all of these stories that I mentioned, um, from, I'm going to leave all of their um, links below, as well as Adiola. Um, I'm going to leave a link to her broadcast because she's done some amazing reporting around this issue. So Dr. Mumbi uh, Soraki recently took to the airwaves um, on her YouTube channel. Um, and I mentioned, I'm going to leave the link below in a plea for all Africans in what she called European and Western countries um, like the U.S. Um, and England and all around the world to come home. And she says, frankly and prophetically, do not get caught up in something that is not your circus and not your monkey. I'm very um, proud also of Young Thug who took to social media asking his rap brothers to join in to work together to help bring Africans home out of Ukraine. I am so amazed by how we as brothers and sisters come together and how we are there for each other. And so if you have a YouTube channel or you are on social media, you have an audience, you have a presence, even if it's an audience of one, please continue to share these messages. You um, know as well as I do that as long as the world's eyes are on this, that we, um, that that's the only way where we can get the justice that we need to receive and that we need to get in order to get our people home. So keep the eyes on this. Don't let this story die. Um, don't until every single one of our people is home safe and we receive, receive the justice that we're due. Um, please make sure that you're tweeting these stories, you're retweeting, you're sharing this in your stories and you're keeping the pressure on. We understand this from what happened with um, George Floyd and in so many other situations, especially here in the um, in the U.S., we, we have come to understand that it the only way that we can receive um, the justice that we need to receive and get all of our people home, um, for, you know, for example, like Morris Creek, the only way we can really get our people home and all of the Africans who are still trapped, right, and people of African descent who are still trapped in the Ukraine, the only way to get them home is if we speak up and we don't let this story die. So that's why I'm using whatever little influence or voice um, or power or just love and for the African diaspora and for our people all around the world. I'm using whatever small bit of influence that I have to share the story and to ensure that our people are treated fairly and then we come home. All right. I love you guys um, so much. <laughs> I love you guys so much. And I am just blessed, continually blessed because when you see African nations um, begin to rise and begin to stand up for their people, um, for the, you know, how we are being treated around the world, it does my heart good. And I hope that Africa will continue to do this. The African Union will continue to do this and, and the African Union will make statements, not just individual African countries. And that we will do whatever we need, it to, we need to do to get all of our people home, whether tens, uh, in Tanzania, um, no matter where we are, that we will get all of our people home out of Ukraine, but also going further, that we will ensure that no African, no person of African descent, no matter where we are in the world, is ever mistreated.